Hi, I'm Manny Lagos, head coach of Minnesota United. I'm here with Brian Coleman and Brent Coleman, and today we'd like to talk to you a little bit about shooting. So today we're going to work on shooting, uh, and we're going to work on some simple, basic techniques of shooting, but we all know we want to score goals, so we really have to get that technique down. And today with Brent, I think we're going to talk a little bit about ways that you can practice to really make sure you become a good shooter. So the first thing I want you guys to think about, and Brent's in a seated position here, is locking our ankle, okay? And if you notice here, when Brent comes up, we want the ankle locked, not like the side of the foot, which is a 90 degree angle, but pointing down. So if you look, his ankle's locked. Can't move it all, I can't push it here. Look at this though, I can't even pull it up there, okay? And the part of the foot we're gonna work on shooting today is right here on the laces, okay? It's called a full instep shot. So we're really excited today for you to learn to practice locking your ankle. You could do this watching TV, hanging out. Again, Brent's locking it, it's locked. Now he can relax a little bit. Okay, we put it down, relax a little bit, Brent. Okay, one more time, I wanna show it again. So lift it up again, Brent. I want you to show, this is a locked ankle. That's a locked ankle, I can't move it at all. He's gonna be excited to hit that ball right in his laces. And I'll tell you this, kids. If you learn to do this, you will become a harder shooter than any of your parents because this is a technique you have to learn when you're little or else you're more than likely never gonna learn it. So that's a pretty cool thing, okay? So when we have Brent here, one of the exercises I like to do is I like to think about Brent now swinging from his hip back here. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna almost drop the ball to him and he'll just kinda come up a little bit and hit the ball back up right in the sweet spot of his foot, right here on that full instep. So here it goes, ready? There it is, okay, again, yep, again, okay, again. Now notice again, Brent's foot, nothing's moving, nothing's coming there and that's why the ball doesn't spin, it just comes right back up to you. One more time, Brent, ready? Good, one more time. Good, one more time. Good, and also see how Brent's not just swinging from here from the knee, but he's actually swinging right from this hip. Because when he stands up, he's gonna want that great form where the hip is coming through almost like a golf swing. So it's an exciting moment when you get that good technique and you can lock your ankle, and now you're swinging from the hip. That's where all the power comes from. A good way to work on the technique of shooting is to find a buddy and pass the ball back and forth not on the ground, but actually out of your hands. So what Brent's gonna do right now is he's gonna show the example of, I want, really want to show the example of him kicking the ball out of his hands, locking that ankle, hitting it right on the laces, swinging through the hip. Don't forget we talked about with the passing as well, the non-kicking foot is right next to the ball, good balance, and watch again the spin in the ball. If it's either top spin or no spin, it's a good one. If it's side spin or back spin, then we have to work on locking our ankle, okay? Good. Okay, did you notice the sound there was not great? So it wasn't on the laces. So you know when it's on the laces, it's a really good, sweet sounding shot. A good way to practice technique is to find a buddy and to play a game where you try to kick the ball in the back of the net. We're gonna continue to hit the ball out of our hands, but now we have a goal where you have to really have the good technique so the ball doesn't go over, or it doesn't go off the side of your foot, but goes directly in the goal, that good technique of locking your ankle, getting your body over the ball, and swinging right through that hip. So we're gonna have Brian and Brent play against each other. They're gonna have five balls each, about seven yards out, and the goal is for them to hit the back of the net in the air. So if I give a quick example here, I step back, ball's in my hands, Latin clockle, that is a point. That's one point, well done Brent. That's a good strike. Okay, lock that ankle, toe pointed down. That's two points, well done. Two points, well done, ankle lock. That's three points, good stuff, 100%. Oh, no good, too low. That's four points, good work. Three. And time. Okay, so now we're gonna play a game called Keeper Wars. So we're gonna take the technique we just worked on and that we did a little bit of passing back and forth, and now we're gonna play a game where the guys really try to score on each other by crushing the ball in the back of the neck. Again, remember that technique of getting down low, non foot is bent, point in the direction you wanna have, ankles locked, on your laces, through your hip, and you're gonna show good technique, but now you get a chance to go against your partner, against goals, and try to show off that technique. All right, okay, here we go. All right, not the best strike, Brian. Get that ball on your laces, lock that ankle. Good strike, Brent, good save, Brian. Good, well done, good work. Like it, good save, Brent. Now they're getting competitive. Get up to that line a little bit more, Brent. Like it, nice and hard, nice and low. Let's get that on target. Now they're getting a little more competitive. No goals yet, though. Good strike, 1-0, great strike. 
clean right on those laces. Good form, good technique. Oh, good effort, Brian. That was a good strike. Well done, Brent. 2-0, 2-0. Good work, couple more balls. Good strike, good save. Goalkeeper wars at its best, brother v brother. 3-0, last ball, Brian, show off a good one. Good technique and time, well done. So I think that was a good example of a way that you can learn the technique of shooting, build it up into a game with a buddy, and then let's see how it is at the next level.